Charlie. I had to come. Man, and have we got a monster for you all today. This thing is huge. In fact, it's so huge, just what you're seeing right there. Look what it looks like on the FLIR. Look at oh the goodness. size of this colony. Man, they're fixing a swarm. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that we were so late that they didn't swarm, so I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to find swarm cells in it. This thing is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're talking 50, 60,000 bees on this one. Man, oh man. Yeah. I mean, golly, this this hive is huge. It's, it's like at least a foot and a half wide and seven feet long. I mean, this is going to be a big one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing 45, 50,000, 60,000 bees. I don't know how many in this one. And we're in just a little past a meet. Um, I forget the exact town name that we're in, but in a meet. And uh, we came up here two weeks ago, and I looked at this, and I was I was telling uh, Tommy when we came up here, I said, "Man, I want to get here before they swarm," because that's what my concern was. That, that when I got here two weeks ago, it was so large then that I, I was just assuming they're going to swarm. But by the grace of God, these girls right here. They're coming back up to the abbey with me. You ready, Rang? Oh, I'm ready. There you Shall we showed me something. And I was listening. Yeah. I think the queen, the queen is about right here. Shall we? Well, I really think. <laughs> Shall we? I, I don't know if you took Charlie on the side on this or not, but we'll see if, Char if Charlie's right. All right, let's wrangle some bees. Let's Charlie. wrangle. Because there's so many bees here on the outside, I want to remove some of these bees first. Uh, with the bee vac and I'm going I'm to try to, I'll blow smoke up in there just to calm them down so that when I pull this sheet of plywood off of here, we won't get them so, so riled up. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting to have comb attached to the side of this plywood so I'll have my bee vac running as I pull this off so that when I pull it off, I can immediately start vacuuming the bees off this off this plywood too. Now we also have both Jim and Tommy from our bee club. They're here to assist with us on, on this job as well. I think that I've used enough time already. It's time to get start vacuuming these bees. This is this is the crew. Look at this. They brought their chairs. I mean, right away, Charlie, I, I'm seeing live termites in this in wow. wood right here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, this, so it, the, the, the paper back here, so. Oh, they, yeah. Um, they may not actually have, which is a good thing, they may not have attached the comb to the To the, to the wood, yeah. But, but they chew through that tar paper pretty easily. I mean, I'm seeing comb right here, Charlie. Oh, now you did it. Uh, I'm, I see one piece of comb is already broken loose. Let me see if I can grab that. You know, it's interesting that the, the bees in the colony they know where their entrance to the hive has always been, which is right in this corner right here. So even though we're knocking bees down, you'll see they fly right back up, and where they're going to go, they're going to go right here. They're not going to try to come over here or where, they, where their entrance to the hive is not known to them. Their GPSs are set for right there. And so that's why when they fall down, they're going to come right back up here. Now, some of the bees, like the hive bees, whose GPS is, they're not even set. They probably have never left the hive before. Yeah, those are the ones where they fall, they're going to go to the ground. You got to be careful not to step on those or they'll walk up your pants and sting you. But for the most part, this is how I distinguish between robber bees and hive bees is because hive bees 
even when I open up this wall, the hive bees are going to fly right there. It won't matter how much space is available to them, the hive bee is going to go right here. Robber bees, on the other hand, they'll go anywhere there's access. And that is one of my concerns about doing this removal on the outside, is having all this comb exposed where the bees can, uh, the robber bees can have easy access to it. So I'm, I'm prompted to work fast to reduce the amount of, of, of robber bees that show up. But that I can't do anything about. And with the number of bees that are running this one, oh my goodness, it's, it's going to be a lot of vacuuming involved. So back to the demo. <laughs> see it here but here's our problem on the ground where all that coal just collapsed um, and I'm pretty sure seeing all that brood down there that our queen is down there as well we're gonna um, let all these bees calm down a little bit I don't want to walk around this area right here I want the bees to migrate either to that comb or go up the wall or something to kind of like move the bees in because I cannot walk around here without fear hitting, squishing our queen. And you can see the bees are, are running towards the wall right here, and which is what I, I do want them to do. I can't get over how calm these bees are after this catastrophic event that just happened. Uh, I mean, these bees are ridiculously calm. And you can you can see <laughs> the the effect of what happened when that cone fell and sent all these bees up into the air. And Charlie, if you pan up, you you'll see where the bees are moving up the ceiling. And our queen may actually be all the way up up at the top, which is maybe why they've gone. So that's my first place where I'm going to look for her up there and I'll start vacuuming those bees and working my way down because that way I know that um, I'll, I'll know that she isn't up in the top. So let's let's grab the bee back and head up there on the ladder and see if our queen is up there. up there so we'll pull the board down next and vacuum that get that out of the way and then we'll go into that the bees that are on the ground and then we'll come up here We got the, um, the bees off the board, and now Jim's going, and uh, he's going to take all the comb, separate out the honey stuff, put that in a box. Uh, the other the other comb is just going to put it in another box. We just separate all of our our 
comb uh, so that way I can strain this stuff it won't be bad and one of the reasons I and I just seen one of the reasons why this comb fell apart was because the heat it's so hot this comb this this wax is so soft it's just breaking apart um, and I really didn't even have to use a knife to cut this stuff it's just like it's like butter that knife going through butter but that knife being super hot because it's just like so soft right now so that's why our comb uh, collapsed with the board down now I'm going to focus my attention on the comb that's on the, the bottom and get those bees off of that and man I hope I hope she isn't in that mess down there because that is a mess that's a mess That disaster is, I guess, taken care of right now. I mean, I, I really thought that our queen was going to be on that section of comb that just collapsed down. Uh, I mean, I took a lot of time. Charlie's already complaining that this is going into his nap time as well as lunch. Uh, so I'm already got that strike against me. But we've really got to take our time with this. Um, it's, it's a very large hive, and at least we got that part of the problem straightened out. Uh, I did not find her in any of that comb that we removed. 
but golly look how many bees we still have left on this so I'm gonna I'm gonna waste some more Charlie's time and vacuum a bunch of these bees out before I start removing any comb so y'all just have to sit tight for that one thing I, I forgot I want to mention too because we have so many bees on our comb it's really a great opportunity to let them rest a little while and to start sucking up any of that honey that uh, I, I ruptured when that comb fell so this is a good thing this pause in between the cutout it's a good thing for the bees to allow uh, the bees to catch up clean up and that way when I start vacuuming up again we'll have less mess mess stick to, to have to deal with and look, you can see all of this beautiful brand new comb right here and all of this all of it is full of honey so they have been busy up here that's for certain now five minutes ago I had all this completely empty and while I was vacuuming those bees I told Charlie look at those bees running down running down and now they're going inside and now we're gonna go inside and let me show you what's going on inside I mean just in that, that few minutes this number of bees in here has doubled in size so I'm gonna use the everything bee vac knock these down then we're gonna remove this piece of lumber right here cut our floor so we can access to the where all those bees are We still have to cut this piece of plywood because they're underneath it. Do it, do it, do it. I'm on you. I'm on you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know Charlie was complaining that I'm wasting all my time down here, but Charlie, you got to admit, it, it paid off for finding our queen this early on because with so many bees still left to vacuum up, we're not gonna have to spend a lot of time going slow doing that. We just vacuum them up since we know our queen is safe right here. So, wow, thank you Jesus for that capture because it was, it was really important. It's a big old black queen too. Can All right. We, can we go eat now? No, Charlie, we gotta do this, finish this job, then oh, we can man. eat. <laughs> well, what do y'all think about it? Well, it's been a hard job so far. It's been rough, huh? Yeah, it's been really hard. It's been really rough. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a demolition guy right here. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he was deep into it. Yep. yep. You need something broken? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at you're good at tearing stuff up. That's right. Yeah, that, that worked out good. Well, well, Tommy, I, I'm glad you told uh, Jeff exactly where that queen was going to be. <laughs> I mean, you know, you were dead on it, man. Hey, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, you know, when you're an expert, right. you know, it's, what can I, mean, I say? You don't want to yeah. act stupid, but, you know, he needs help. He needs help. Uh, I know. We, yeah, we keep an eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess what? That girl got me right on my, my eyebrow. And that thing is starting to swell now. So it's a good thing 
that <laughs> we got our queen already. All right, so let me put these things on so at least I can see. I've got mo a lot of the bees back and away from it. And just just because uh, I've got the major a lot of the bees back and away doesn't mean that there's some guard bees that are on this comb protecting it. And that's what nailed me. Uh, they, you would think that you could just keep on working nice and easy, unprotected, but man, <laughs> that ain't the case. So I'm gonna put my veil back on and I'm gonna vacuum the, the, the bees on the face, on the surface of the comb, and then we're gonna start cutting comb and, and putting it into the ice chest. But I mean, with, with our queen already captured, golly, that's like, just expedites the whole, whole situation here. It's, I, I don't have to worry about trying to find her, look for or vacuum her up. She's in the cage. She's down here and I vacuum, I vacuum lots of bees already from down here. We know where she is. We just simply remove these bees and then, then the comb. <laughs> Time to remove some comb and put on my veil. I want you to sit right there. Look, look, are you in it? <gasps> oh, there you are. <laughs> Am I in it? <laughs> Thanks but, for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be right, making more. Let's go. All right, Ralph, hold on. <laughs> So I don't know if that camera is picking it up, but Charlie let all the drones inside of the van. We're taking them with us. They're <laughs> so, coming home. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna bring them up to the Abbey and, and turn them loose. And on the way home, Charlie gets to sing them songs. It's just gonna be a party in there. But first, Charlie, we're gonna go eat lunch. We're gonna eat lunch. We're finally, gonna eat lunch. finally, we're gonna go eat lunch. What time is it? Twelve fifteen. Twelve fifteen. So we got here right around eight. Four hours. Four plus. Four plus. Four plus. Hey, it was big. Yeah, that you was know? A, that was a huge one. It yeah. was a huge one. But what about our help? You know, we come got on help. in here, guy. Look, we look, come it. here. We, we got time. Oh, look, they're shaking their head. Yeah. Come on, come can't on, Tom. Look, just come right here. Come oh, on. Oh, look, you can't get come out on. of it. You can't. So get... you all remember Tommy and Jim? Right right here, cut out. No, you need to get right here. Right here, Jim. Look. Yeah, you'll be in there it. There you go. There, there Little bit closer. Little there bit closer. closer. And there he is right here. Come on. Can you see Tommy in there? There you go. Mm, yeah. So that's all of us. That's all of us. So well, it, it was a... Where's Tommy? Tommy's right there. there no, I can't. Oh, I well, can barely him. see his face. Okay. <laughs> Tommy don't want his face to be seen. <laughs> no. Break the camera. <laughs> I mean, his, his hair is fixed and everything. It's beautiful. So, you know, it's beautiful. All right. So you all remember how we closed the, the video last time? No. That's all over again. Another class. <laughs> Jim, what about you? You remember? Thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for, watching. for watching. Keep on I, watching. I can do the we'll thanks be. for watching. Oh, there you, want, you go. You want okay, to do the yeah, thing? you do that. All right. And you're going to be... Uh, Keep uh, on watching. And, and Charlie, you're going to do... Uh, I don't know. I'll just... Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. All right, I'll take more. And I'll, I'll do the God bless. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to go to you, okay. to Charlie, and then to Jim, right? Okay. Yeah, we, I think we got it. So bear with us, but We're I think we can do it. Here we go. Hit it, Jim. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. It's Mr. Red. Tommy. Jim. And good oh. time, Charlie. And Jim. And Bye. Jim. Thank y'all. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.